Welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and this will yet be another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. The only difference is uh, today I want to show you the new Elements 8 for the Mac. Now this is Elements 8 for the Mac, and what I like about it, well, let me get this up in here. What I like about Elements 8 for the Mac is that if you've used Elements 6 on the Mac, you'll notice that you uh, normally would have a screen that would resemble something like this. Let's just open this up here. You would have a screen that would resemble something more like that. Pull this back. But what Elements 8 for the Mac allows us to do now is it allows us to actually resize and probably just as important minimize minimize that so it also allows us to minimize which is very important now if you buy Photoshop elements 8 for the Mac you're gonna have the same feature set as elements 8 on the Windows and if you remember correctly, Elements 8 on the on uh, Elements 7 for Windows came out, and uh, we as Mac users were kind of stuck. We didn't have any way to go up to 8, I mean 7, because they didn't make one. Uh, on the Mac side, they went from 6 straight to 8. But now we have uh, important new features here, such as the Smart Brush tool and the Detail Smart Brush tool. Those are uh, important features that are now with the uh, Elements 8. You also uh, now are uh, going to have new this uh, exposure and the group shot. We never had that in Elements 6. Uh, I believe we did have the panoramic uh, the scene cleaner is also new. The scene cleaner actually came out in version 7. Next, if you happen to purchase my DVDs, um, I've had a few of you call in and say, Jack, I can't watch the video. So what I want to show you here is now you're able to actually watch the videos. Let me bring one up here. you can actually watch the video as well as still work on your elements. Let me just open this with quick time so I can show you what I'm talking about here. We can make this a little smaller and pull this aside now such as this. Click play Welcome to another episode of Photoshop Element 6. And now, and this is Jack's. now you can actually see it is playing. We can fast forward it. So that way you can work along with the actual video on your elements at this time. So that is a great, great improvement. Let's close this. So folks, I would say Elements 8 for the Mac is a very uh, well worthy upgrade. Uh, you should definitely pick it up for your Mac. You're going to be very happy that you did. Uh, version 6 is a little bit outdated at this point. Um, but version 8 is definitely worth the upgrade. And hey, if you've uh, enjoyed this video tutorial, as my opening slides uh, hopefully you've seen, um, go ahead and stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com, and you can pick up the first uh, copy of uh, Photoshop Elements and iPhoto to show you how to incorporate those two. And so, as always, 
Keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.